In this example, we are looking at a simply supported beam. As you can see, it is a 5 meter long beam and we have 15 kilonewton load applied at B. Distance from A to B is 3 meters and from B to C is 2 meters. It is simply supported with a roller support at this end. We only have one vertical load applied onto the beam at B. Hence, we would only have vertical reactions at A and C. If I note them as RA and RC, then we can begin our calculations to determine the reactions at supports. What I'm going to do is take moments about A. You can see that the lever arm is zero for reaction RA when you are taking moments about A. Hence, RA has zero moment about A. We have an anti-clockwise moment due to RC reaction and the lever arm is 5 meters. It's from A to C. So we can write moments about a rc times 3 plus 2 rc is causing an anti-clockwise moment as you can see it would try to rotate this beam in this direction anti-clockwise and then we have this 15 kilonewton force acting at b which is causing a clockwise moment. It would try to rotate this beam about A in this direction. So we can write this is equal to 15 times the lever arm, 3 meters. You can write 5 RC is equal to 45 and RC is equal to 9 kilonewton then we can take moments about c just like before the lever arm is zero for reaction rc when you're taking moments about c hence rc has zero moment about c then we have one clockwise moment due to reaction ra and the lever arm is five meters moments about RA times 2 plus 3 and we have this 15 kilonewton force causing an anti-clockwise moment about C and the lever arm is 2 meters from this point to B this is equal to 2 times 15 we can write 5RA is equal to 30 and RA is equal to 6 kilonewton. Now what we need to do is undertake a check of vertical equilibrium to make sure that the results we derived are correct. You can write vertical vertical equilibrium for vertical equilibrium when you add these two reactions ra and rc it should be equal to 15 kilonewton you can write ra plus rc is equal to 9 kilonewton 9 kilonewton plus 6 kilonewton which is equal to 15 kilonewton and that is equal to the applied force so the results we derived for ra and rc reactions are correct if you like the video please like the video and if you would like to see more videos like this one please subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions please post your questions in the comment section thank you for watching the video